why we get just 333 chances to own the final edition 2023 Audi R8 V10 GTR WD. It's common knowledge by now that the days of the internal combustion engine are numbered, even in sports cars. And for a naturally aspirated V10 to exist in 2022? That's already a long shot, but Audi is sticking with it. For a very, very short while longer at least. The Audi R8 GTR WD is a special, limited edition version of the iconic supercar, and the second time around it's making one. It's also the car that Audi themselves are calling a goodbye to the V10 engine. As far as farewells go, the 2023 Audi R8 Coupe V10 GTR WD, to use its full designation, is exactly as special as its name suggests. First, it's still got the 5.2-liter V10, also shared with Lamborghini, but with the power outputs of the R8 Quattro at 602 HP, itself 40 HP up over the outputs of the RWD models to match the AWD car's straight-line performance. This makes it the most powerful rear-wheel drive Audi, from the factory. Next, it's a GT, which means it's the ultimate in the lineup, being lighter and faster than a regular coupe, as is tradition with the first R8 GT model from 2011. And lastly, it's rear-wheel drive, a configuration that's been proven time and again to be a lot more fun than the Quattro-equipped models. It'll also likely be the last of the R8s powered by internal combustion motors before the R8 goes all-electric by 2025. As for why Audi has decided to only offer 333 units of the R8 V10 GTR WD worldwide. Let's take some guesses. Audi wants the R8 V10 GTR WD to be exclusive. For a mass-market car maker like Audi, it needs to make its special, halo models in limited numbers for their values to hold. Compared to Lamborghini, who seem to be releasing versions of the Huracan V10 with alarming regularity in the run-up to ditching the V10, the limited run of the Audi R8 GT makes it a lot more desirable. Especially considering the money Audi is asking for you to fork over, compared to a regular R8 with rear-wheel drive. Audi has the R8 V10 GTR WD priced at €225,000 or about $70,000, estimated, more than the base R8 V10 RWD. For the money, the R8 V10 GTR WD brings about 40 HP more, 44 pounds less weight and a lot of exclusive kit that the standard car doesn't get. This includes the sequential limited edition numbering inlaid in the carbon fiber trim, red seat belts, black and red interiors, and lightweight forged alloy wheels inspired by Audi's motorsport endeavors. And, not to forget, the carbon aero kit that ups downforce by way of splitters, side skirts, diffuser and gooseneck rear wing. The most exclusive feature, however, is the intake manifold that's available in black for the first time on an R8. Carbon ceramic brakes are also standard, as are carbon fiber reinforced plastic anti-roll bars, and the option of hardcore COI lovers. If you think that's still not enough, to sweeten the deal further, the R8 V10 GTR WD also packs in a tweaked 7-speed DCT with new gear ratios that's supposed to boast even quicker shift times. But we've saved the best for last. Audi is finally embracing oversteer. You read right, the R8 V10 GTR WD has customizable stability control, which offers seven stages of intervention from tight and locked down, to all-out hooligan. Like in the AMG GTR, the level of intervention can be set via a knob dial, conveniently placed right on the steering wheel. Audi claims this feature has been included to help drivers get the best out of their R8 GT as they learn the road, car, or both, but we all know it's there for the R8 to finally let its hair down properly. Good going, Audi. The Audi A1 Quattro hot hatch was also limited to 333 units. The Audi R8 V10 GTR WD isn't the first time that Audi has offered a limited edition run of 333 units, or half the number of the beast. Ignoring how cool the number sounds, Audi also offered the first Gen R8 GT and Ultra Cool A1 Quattro in the same production run of 333 units, almost exactly a decade back. The A1 Quattro hot hatch was built to commemorate the Audi Quattro World Rally Championship contender from the 1980s. Compared to a regular A1, Audi claims it made over 600 changes to give the A1 Quattro its special status. Most impressive of which has to be the engine from the Audi TTS that it shoehorned into the hot hatch. Prices when new started at $55,000 and given the rarity and coolness, they go for more than that now, if and when one comes up for sale. 
We're sure the Audi R8 V10 GTR WD will head down a similar path. Even if it's not quite as cool to look at as the first-gen Audi R8, there's no denying an Audi Limited Edition holds its value extremely well.